This dam is absolutely colossal. And it's not in Europe or China. It's in Africa, in Ethiopia. On Ethiopia's western frontier, where the Blue Nile cuts towards Sudan, rises one of Africa's most audacious feats of engineering. Welcome to the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, an epic name for an epic mega project. It has been decades in the making, a symbol of Ethiopia's so-called economic miracle. And perhaps the boldest attempt yet to harness the Nile's waters. The scale defies imagination. It will generate more than 6,000 megawatts of electricity over twice Ethiopia's current output. And its reservoir will hold 74 billion cubic meters of water, stretching across an area the size of a mega city. This mega dam isn't just concrete and steel. It is 10 million cubic meters of roller compacted concrete, two outdoor power stations, three spillways, and a vast saddle dam holding it all together. Its main wall towers 145 meters into the sky and stretches 1.7 kilometers across, a structure that has cost more than 4.8 billion US dollars. The journey began in 2011 with the dramatic diversion of the Blue Nile, a feat of engineering that allowed foundations strong enough to resist the weight of billions of tons of water. And for a decade, Ethiopians at home and abroad funded the project through bonds, taxes, and sheer national pride. But the Grand Renaissance Dam is more than Ethiopia's pride. It is also the region's greatest source of tension. Egypt, downstream, depends on the Nile for more than 80% of its water supply. Some 95% of Egyptians live within a few kilometers of the river. It is their lifeline. And Cairo fears that this mega dam could choke its flow with catastrophic consequences for its people, its economy, and its survival. Sudan, caught in between, sees both risks and opportunities. The dam could stabilize flows for farming but it could also threaten its water security. When we do projects uh, here, it's not uh, to harm the downstream countries. Since these resources, a common, common resource, we have to reasonably and equitably utilize it. For Ethiopia, however, the equation is clear. Half its population still lacks electricity. God is their ticket to light, industry, and development. Talks between Ethiopia, Sudan, and Egypt have broken down. No binding agreement has been signed. The dam is already complete and generating power. The dispute now sits on the desks of diplomats. 
and in the worries of millions downstream. There is no reason that uh, the, the downstream countries should complain on it because we have, this is our resources also. We have the right to develop. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is Africa's largest infrastructure project, a single wall of concrete that may reshape not just the Nile, but the destiny of nations. My name is Enoxicolia, and I am the Kenyan historian.